that you can see, and I want you to have a voice level of zero. Can you give me a voice level of zero? All right, I want you to watch this quick video, okay? All about what we're going to learn today. It's 
to welcome him to Columbia. We need your help, Mr. Help. <laughs>
you're expected to follow, and I'm going to listen. what comes up. Clean your room. No! Raise your hand if you have to clean your room at home. Okay, hands back with your lap. Yeah, guys, you know what? Even I have to clean my room, but I have to tell you something. This one time, I waited so long in between cleaning my room that when I got underneath my bed to clean out everything, I found a brother that I didn't even know I It was great. Okay, I want you to put your hands on your head if this is the rule you're expected to follow. Let's see. Take out the trash.
they trusted me with their trash, and their fish, and their house plans before. But this time, it was serious. They get back Friday. I can't wait for them to see it. And I wonder if anybody else needs my help this time. Send it my way. Love, Andy. All right, guys. Hey, you guys are doing a fantastic job. I want to talk to you real quick about the Celebrating Our Stars cards that you're going to start seeing a lot around Columbia. Celebrating Our Stars, the stars stand for something, and I want to make sure you guys understand what all the things they mean. The S stands for safe choices, the T is for teamwork, the A is for achieving your goals, the R is for respectful to yourself and to others, and the S is for showing this month's character trait. This month's character trait, we're talking about responsibility. So if you are caught doing one of these five things, you will get a card. And later on in the month, we might do some drawings, and you might get a prize, or you might get a special treat, or maybe you can come down to the gym for part of your day, or something fun and exciting. But we want to recognize those of you that do the right things, and do them often, and that's what we're going to be doing in Columbia. So to start this whole thing off, I would like for a buddy of mine, somebody that I've met, every morning when he gets out of his car, and in the afternoon, and he is the politest, most respectful little guy that I've seen in a long time. And I want to recognize him right now. So if I could get Mr. Colton Black to come on up. Mr. Black here comes every morning when he sees me. He says, good morning, Mr. Snyder. And I have a lot of people that say good morning, Mr. Snyder, to me. But then he catches me off guard all the time because then he says, hey, you hop up here with me. You, you, you get all the way here. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, Mr. Snyder. And then he catches me off guard and he said, I hope you have a wonderful day. And then, later on in the afternoon, I was walking down the hallway and I was busy. You guys have seen me walking down the hallway. I've got like a thousand things going on. And Colton says, hey, Mr. Snyder, I hope you have a nice evening. And he just kept walking. He was just so respectful and polite. And that is one of our celebrations for our stars and being respectful and to yourself and to others and you do a great job of modeling that and you're going to be the first one that I'm going to pull this out for for this school year and you get to keep one of these and the rest of these we're going to do something special with okay hold on to them all for me because I've got some other stuff i got to do and I'll get them from you in a bit but hey a round of applause for being respectful Now, I'm not going to talk to you anymore about the cards because we're going to continue to talk to you. Your teachers are going to talk to you about those on Tuesday, and you will start seeing those being distributed. And you yourself can get one of those by showing one of those traits. So right now, we're going to show you, of those five things that I described, we're going to show you a video of what those things actually look like in real life. I gave you an example of how Colton was being very respectful. We're going to watch a video here and you can see other ways that that works as well. There are certain things we have to do as students to be the best we can be. Some tips for being a good student include making safe choices, teamwork, achieving goals, being respectful, and being responsible. Here are some examples of these tips. Making safe choices.
Study for your tests. Showing teamwork. I have to put away all these chairs by myself. It's okay, Emma. I'll help you. Thanks. Teamwork is important to getting the job done, and you can even make friends. Thanks for watching.
his own shirt today. Jan, do you realize that you guys all work together to get those shirts for yourself? You can put your hands down. Those, the, your shirts that you are wearing was purchased with the money that was raised last year through box tops. We raised over $4,000 for box tops. So every box top you brought in, you were actually helping get Zebra Zone shirts for this year. I think that's pretty incredible that everybody got one. So give yourself a hand for collecting those box tops last year. So we've started out this year's collection, and we're going real strong. I've got the winners for this month's collection. We, in third place, we had Mrs. Johnson's classroom. Good job, first graders. With 287 box tops, we had second grade Mrs. Gonwer's class. And this year, or this month, and with the most total with 576 box tops and winning an ice cream party is Mrs. Bollinger's first grade. <laughs> 